This Diwali, there will be destruction and we are ready to get destroyed. Right, Gaurang? Yeah, definitely. We are joined by Ajay Devgan and the very beautiful Erika Ka. Thank you so much for being with Bollywood Live today. You're welcome and you... We are not here to destroy all. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, just a week to go. Erika, to you especially, it's your debut film. Yes. Ajay is used to the Friday releases by now. So excited, nervous, what exactly are you feeling? Oh, I just can't wait to see the film. That's all I'm feeling because... That's I've quite I've a relaxed you know. response, don't you think? She's very chilled out. Like a debutant would generally say that. She knows she's done a good job, so... <laughs> I haven't said that. <laughs> I'm just happy to go to the cinema and watch it. And, uh, you know, the, mo the trailers, the music, everything has been so well received. Uh, but on a personal level, what is it that would make you happy? A box office, a great box office collection? Appreciation. See, what does collection boil down to? Well, collection boils down to ha how many people see it, how many people like it. So eventually, what do you want? You want, obviously, it's business also, so you need the collection. But eventually, what gives you satisfaction is the appreciation. So, and appreciation is something which converts into money. So, basically, we're looking for appreciation that, you know, uh, what we've done for one and a half, two years. I think people like it and we, were, and we come to know that we were right. What about you, Erica? You know, he obviously is uh, somehow a critic's favorite. Most people love him for all the roles that he has played. What about you? What would matter more to your box office or a great critical review? She's, not, she's not a producer. She, she, what matters to her is a critical review. I'm right? so unexperienced, you don't even imagine. That's why I'm so calm. I have no idea what happens after the release. I've never been said, you're a terrible actress or you're a great... Oh no, you told me I'm good. But I've, I've never had a review or box office or... I never produced a film, so... I'm like a rookie that's just sitting, smiling and cracking jokes. <laughs> How did Shivai happen for you? How did you come on board for Shivai? He chose me. And of course I went to the audition and I worked on the scenes uh, in my hometown in Warsaw in Poland. Uh, because as Ajay... So we did a lot of auditions yep. and uh, it, it's, it's, uh, the film is really uh, performance driven, all the characters. So we, we were on a hunt since the past, I mean before starting the film for one year. Uh, luckily we eventually found her. And in the first audition, when I saw the audition, I was like, she's fabulous, so she should be. Were you aware about Bollywood, as, like, you used to I watch Bollywood know. movies as an industry, or you, have you watched Hindi movies, or which was the first Hindi movie you watched? I think that's many questions at one. Let me put it in order. Of course, I was aware of the Bollywood industry, because it's Hollywood and Bollywood are two biggest industries in the world, so of course, there is a recognition everywhere, I think, in the world of Bollywood. I wasn't really aware of the films, Plus, later on, once I backed the role, I was instructed not to watch any Bollywood films until we wrap, so that I don't get influenced, uh, my performance doesn't get influenced in any way. And the first, uh, the first Bollywood film I watched after we wrapped, I think it's Devdas. Devdas? We're, yes, with Shah Rukh Khan and uh, Ajvara Rai, okay. which I liked very much, and she's beautiful. We also want to know, you were one of the first people to announce the Diwali date. So when Edil Mushkil was announced, were you a little upset? Did you bring up the topic? Did you have a discussion with Karan at any point? I didn't bring up the topic. Uh, though, yeah, you do feel that, you know, another clash, another... Uh, I, I won't even call it a clash. It's just, it just hurt, hurts both the films. So, but I do understand the problem that there are very few weeks in a year, in a year as so many releases and good weeks, I would say. So, I don't think, I, I didn't take it to heart that, you know, I did announce first and that after that, that film was announced. Fair enough, I mean, eventually, I, th I, think, I think whichever, you guys are the ones who will decide, you know, uh, watch both or watch one or, you know, which one is better. So, like, in Hollywood, we see lots of movies releasing on the same Friday, but they don't talk about that much. But why is it only in, uh, like in India, like with us, like we talk about, okay, two big films are clashing and... As I said, it hurts both the films. Absolutely. But then Diwali is a good period, I think. I think there is space for two films. And you've been very lucky in Diwali. You've had a yeah, great luckily, track record yes. in that sense. Yes. And as a producer, you have a 100% track record. So that also kind of adds to the whole positiveness but around what, you. What, what is working is working till now. You don't know what is going to work tomorrow. So you can't depend on track records and things like this. Uh, you have to uh, work hard every moment and uh, every moment is going to bring you something new. You can't just lay back and say, okay, this is what is working. I really believe in the film industry uh, or any, anywhere in the world, 
you can never predict what is going to work. You can you cannot go by the judgment of this is working. This is working. This is working till this moment. Tomorrow, what is going to work? You don't know. Also, want to know from you, Ajay, that now that you know you're a producer here, you're a director, wearing so many hats. We did see a few making shorts. How difficult? How difficult would be a very invalid question, I would say. As but a, what is the most challenging thing? As about? a director, as an actor, it wasn't so challenging. It's just a lot of overtime and hard work. But uh, apart from that, uh, yeah, producer is very difficult. So I tried to run away from that job. Okay. How would you rate him as a director and a producer? What was it like on the sets? Was he producer, a tough she taskmaster? Can't rate me. Oh well, I think that ninety-eight percent of all of us would not have made it. The funny thing is, Ajay doesn't really sleep. I think, because <laughs> whenever I would go, you know, somewhere at the hotel, right before going to sleep to, to to get something to drink, and he would always be working and having meetings, no matter the time, and preparing for next two days and preparing the strategy and working on this and this and that. So that I don't quite get. How is it possible to do that? But he mastered it. 100 percent plus the performance we, we never there was never a wait for Ajay to get focused there was never the anticipation of him to okay I have to lead the director here and become the character it was like you know an instant thing usually they waited for me <laughs> to, to to grab my focus so it's fantastic really one episode that kind of shook all of us was the recording that was that you put out on Twitter should we be discussing that <laughs> I've been mean, it's it's something I put forth, uh, uh, which is not right, and it concerns not anybody else because what that recording says is true or not. You and me, we don't know. It, it says exactly what you hear and what I heard, and that is what I put forth because at least one thing I do not agree with is blackmail, and that is not what I will take. So I just put it forth. I said, this is it. That is for you guys to judge. Uh, adding to that, there is a uh, news report that's doing that that uh, Karan has a biography that's coming up, and he's delayed it because he wants to put his reaction. Well, I have been completely involved with my film. I don't know who's doing what. I have, as as I was telling her, I have come home today at six in the morning, showered, and gone back to work, and I'm right here now, right now. So I don't know what is happening in the world. So I won't be able to comment on that. The big villain secret of uh, Shiva is something that's like it's a mystery. It's not a secret. It's a part of screenplay. Uh, when you see the film, you will know. I just don't want to talk about it right now. So, but it's a. Is it a surprise for all of us? I wouldn't say it's a surprise. It's just an element which keeps you keeps the intrigue that uh, uh, you know. Uh, it's 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 kind of an industry. This these villains, which is a kind of a faceless inter industry. So there is no face to it. You drop one, the others crop up, drops up. So there is no end to it. So it's it's not that you re you can ever reach the root of it. You said you were uh, bored with the kind of Bollywood action films that were coming out. Is that why Shivai happened? No, Shivai happened because of different reasons. Shivai happened because, as I said, uh, uh, it, it was a germ which originated from what you feel. It's an emotional film. Uh, it's a it's a parent-child relationship so uh, I mean I uh, me as a parent had this feeling that in a situation what length can a parent go for the child and what all he can he or she can do and how a child would respond to it so it's that is the base of the story where action is concerned uh, of course because it's it's an it's it's an actual larger than life emotional drama so I did not want I, I didn't want to have action where you see, uh, you know, uh, things blowing up and uh, like a superhero and things like this. So it, it, well, it's, it's very emotional. The action is very emotional. So it has to be larger than life, but real. So you are, you are known for your characters like, you know, Sultan Mirza or Singham and now Shivai is there. So w would you want Shivai to have, you know, that much recall value like, like I say, Singham? Why wouldn't you want to? Of course you would want to. Actor's biggest compliment is when he's remembered by his characters. One role that you have played in your 25 years of your career that has been the most special for you in terms of... I would say, uh, again, difficult to choose, but um, I would say Zakham. 